guest is a woman who has gone through a total body transformation. She was first introduced to us on TLC's My 600 Pound Life. Let's take a look. This is Marla's last chance. If she doesn't stand up now, she'll be in this bed until she dies. Marla, you can do it. Do you want to count on three? One, two, Keep pushing your weight mm. down. Oh. Okay. Mm. I didn't think I could get up. Good God from yeah. Zion. We can't wait to show you how she looks now. Please welcome Miss Marla McCann. Yes! 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 yes. yes. We can call you Miss Marla McCann because yes. you did that. Yes! yes. 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 <laughs> Miss Marla, you look amazing. Yes. 560 you. pounds in two years. Oh, my goodness. Wow. When did you know it was time to get the help that you needed? Oh, well, one day I got up to use the bathroom and mm -hmm. I couldn't put any pressure on my feet. I couldn't mm. walk. Wow. And I had uh, seen a TV show where it was a woman uh, or a man that was trapped inside a house and I didn't want to be like that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it was time. You were yeah. like, this is the day that I changed my yeah. life. Yeah. Well, Marla, you actually went from it being a struggle to just get up with help. We mm -hmm. saw that in the uh, in the clip, yes. just to stand up briefly on a walker, mm -hmm. to losing all of this weight. Girl, you look amazing. Mm -hmm. yes. really, Thank really, you. really do. Thank you. Thinking about the weight gain, was there any one person or thing that you said that you attribute the weight gain to? Mm. Did something happen? Was there something traumatizing in your in your past? Yes, uh, as uh, Ayana always says, you have to get to the root of the problem. Mm -hmm. And the root of the problem for me was when my father was I was molested. Uh, molested. Molested. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And then my I was kidnapped out high school sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I stayed idea. indoors. I didn't want to endanger mm -hmm. anyone. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to endanger my children. We just I just stayed in and I food. Yeah. yeah, it was my comfort. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Yes. It was my comfort. Thank you for your transparency. And you decided to, to have a surgical procedure in yes. order to jumpstart your weight loss. Can you tell us about the process that you went through for that? Wow. Well, after listening to my uh, caretaker, after uh, getting that in my head that I needed one, because mm -hmm. I was uh, self sufficient, <clears throat> I wanted to do everything myself, mm -hmm. but I was trapped in a bed. Mm -hmm. So after listening to her, I seeked out and wrote people, didn't get any answer, and she told me, uh, Marla, it's this show. That you know takes uh, people in uh, for the surgery, and uh, you need to write in. So I thought about it, and I wrote in. Mm -hmm. They sent out a video. I videoed myself, and um, I got picked. Wow! Mm -hmm. I got picked. Wow. wow! Wow! Yes, Marla, can you take us through your daily program, um, mentally and physically? And now, and I mean, what you do now after you have lost the weight, because. Emotionally and mentally, you got there. That's that's how you got there. Emotionally and, and, and mentally, because you stayed in and you ate as as a food for food as comfort. Mm -hmm. So now that that's over and that's gone, and you have this amazing body now, and you're you're in a better place. How do you maintain the positive mindset to continue to thrive without slipping back mm -hmm. into that mindset? Well, I first want to get out there that. Um, Food is an addiction. Mm -hmm. and we don't look at it yes, as, it is. you know, yes, it it's is. not. It is an addiction. I'm going to always have that mindset. Mm -hmm. um, For something that you struggle with. Yes, yes. I struggle yeah. with. Um, but what is it like to be able to say, I win, I win over yeah. food every you, day? Because you're you, winning. Yeah. You are winning right I never want to go back to that place. Mm -hmm. Yes. I never want to go back to the place, mm -hmm. um, the way I was treated. You, you just, you never want to go back there. Mm -hmm. It's lonely. Yeah. What do you say to people that are like, well, it's your fault that you, mm -hmm. you were in that? Because when, because if you don't know your story, you'll mm -hmm. look at a, a show like that and say, well, how could they do that? How could they just eat all that food and do all of that? Mm -hmm. What do you say to those people to have a little bit more empathy yeah, for people who are going through? Good. Well, as they, uh, you were told, I was told you literally never judge a book by its cover. Uh -huh. yes. So, you know, everybody has a story. Everybody has a route that they got to get to, you know. Um, for those people, they're just ignorant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's informed. Yeah. Well, yeah. we're talking books, and you have one, my dear. Yes, yes. I'm writing a book. Absolutely. Yes. So what will 
be the take home message that you want people to, to get while reading the book or when reading the book? That you can overcome mm -hmm. your struggles and fears. You can okay. overcome, you can do it. I did it. Yes. You can do it. Yes. And I believe God has put me here to share my stories. It's Absolutely. not for me, mm -hmm. it's for everybody else that's out there struggling. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's what I want to do. Yeah, and, right. and, and speaking of sharing your stories, talk to us about Lending Our Shared Stories. What is that that you create? Ah, yes, this is this wonderful organization that I joined, Lost, yes, and it deals with uh, anyone or Anybody that uh, lost anything, mm -hmm. be it a uh, pet, spouse, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. mother, brother, sister, cousin, anybody that's lost anything, just to let you know that you're not alone. Yeah, mm -hmm. We need to come together as a community mm -hmm. and share yeah. and get the love that we deserve mm -hmm. and need yeah. to make it out here. Right. Mm -hmm. right. It's rough. Yes. Yeah. It's really yes. rough. Mm -hmm. Talk about your faith walk <laughs> and how God, you mentioned God uh, when answering Quad's question, but mm -hmm. how has the Holy Spirit, God, your source, helped you through this process when you had those human moments? Oh, Jesus. Uh, I've always, uh, you know, you just keep your faith. I, I never knew how I was going to get out of this. I knew I was. Mm -hmm. I knew this wasn't the life that he was, you know, presented me with. I, the name of my book is going to be called Altered because I altered Ooh, my life. I like yes. that. That's good. Right. Yes. So um, you, you, I tell anyone, keep your faith. Mm -hmm. Keep your faith. Don't give up. My keep God, your faith. Don't ever give and up. And on that no. good, good note, thank you. Yes. we want to thank you so much for yes. being here. Thank yes. you for sharing thank your so journey much. with us. Be thank sure you. to follow Marla on Instagram at truth underscore your point in order to keep up with her.